Hello, this is Pinky, and this will be a full comprehensive guide on how to add the laydown to your avatar. This guide will come in at three steps. First, we will be changing the menu so we can actually access it. Second, we'll be changing the parameters so that the effects go into change. And the third will be changing the FX layer. So as you can see here, the FX layer is clearly broken as there should not be two here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset the default and I'm gonna customize. And then as you can see, the action layer is here and this is what we want. So for the FX, we can put our FX layer back for amp wave FX. And for action, what we wanna do is we wanna select the action layer underscore laydown underscore pose multiple. We put that there. Now our second step will be our menu. And what we wanna do is you wanna click right here, find where your menu is, and we are going to add a, a new one and we're gonna call it lay down. You can call it whatever you want. This is how I personally choose. And then for an icon, doesn't matter. I also just like this one. Now this is important, pick sub menu here. And inside of here, you're gonna click this little dot and you're gonna come up with all of your expressions. So if you successfully imported uh, the lay down, it will be this one right here, sub menu underscore lay down. And you want to pick that and then you are done with this step and now the final step is the parameters now inside of the parameters as you can see I've already made these duplicate ones but just for an example say for somebody that hasn't done this is you just need to press add five times as you'll need five slots so like this we have five slots here now and to find what these parameters are gonna be called and what to set to you go to the lay down you go to the readme and if you scroll down right here here is the list of things that you need to set it as so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it on the side here and i'm going to click on my avatar again and i'm going to go into the parameters and i'm actually going to pull this inspector out so that it's not layering anything here and then i can pull up the readme put them side by side and i'm going to be able to edit these so i'm going to quickly clear them all out and then I'm going to put this on the side here again I'll pull my unity here and then now we're going to have the two side by side so the first one is going to be called sitting an anim and it is going to be an int and it will be set at zero and it will not have a save state the next one will be pose space and this one will be a bull and it will be unchecked and if you want to save your post space then it's recommended to save it the next one is play space and this one will be a float so we keep this as a float it'll be zero maybe i personally keep this one on and then the next two are reset pose and locomotion remember to keep these names you have to make sure they match one to one as any simple spelling mistake will make sure that your like stuff doesn't work. And you're going to set these both as bulls and you have them both unchecked and both on no. So they don't save over. Now to test that this has fully worked, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press play. I'm going to click on my avatar. I'm going to pull out my emulator. I'm going to click on my lay down. And if you did it successfully, your avatar will lay down. Now, there are some avatars where the tails or whatnot will collide. A uh, simple way to get rid of that is just to like remove the floor collider whenever you like toggle these or to have a separate toggle for that. Uh, if any details needed, feel free to contact me. But yeah, you've now successfully added Narvish Laydown to your avatars. And it works. Thank you for watching.